Everybody that wants a portable power station wants more power. As the power increases, so does the weight. Portable power stations are becoming so big, some of them even have wheels. But there are portable power stations out there that do pack a big punch and a smaller package. And I happen to have one of them right here. This is gonna be the Convolt 4 kilowatt portable power station. This one has four times more power than a standard portable power station. However, they're almost the same size. So make sure you guys stay tuned if you wanna avoid buying the wrong portable power station. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So I like going camping and spending a lot of time with my kids outdoors. When I'm off grid, I do like to be connected and use all my electronics. So I tinker around with portable power stations as I think they're pretty neat and they're wonderful for home backup power. So right here, I have the Convolt 4 kilowatt portable power station. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what's included. I'm gonna go ahead and test it. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give this a random fix tool grade so you guys can go ahead and decide for yourself. But before we jump into the video, let's go ahead and confirm that this is indeed portable. So let's talk about the size. This is gonna be 17 inches long, 11 inches tall, and seven inches across. But this does weigh 65 pounds, so it is definitely on the borderline of portability. Let me see if this is something that I can lift with one hand, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so it is doable. I can't lift this with one hand, and now I'm no spring chicken anymore. Okay, so it does check that portability box, and this is definitely a lot of power. So now let's go ahead and check out what's included with this unit. So the unit came nicely packaged and these were in there as well. And inside we get an actual owner's manual and the owner's manual is very detailed. It comes with alligator clips to XT90. And I love the connectors that they are using in the Convolt unit as they are either XT60, XT90 or an Anderson 120 connection, which we'll take a look at. And the reason I love them is because you can buy them on a lot of different websites and different stores. So this is the Anderson 120 connection. This is the XT60 connection. And this is the XT60 to XT90 connection right here. And two power bricks. And these can go ahead and charge this unit up to 500 watts. Two of these XT90 connectors are included for the wall chargers. And these are really nice wires. And the nice thing is with the Convolt unit, it's native 12 volts. And I'll talk a little bit more about this. So the output is gonna be 14.4. Then instead of just giving you some flimsy car lighter adapter that can charge at maybe 100 watts or 120 watts, they give you a really good, intelligent 30 amp car charger. And this does need to be installed in the vehicle. So I'll show you guys my setup in a little bit once we test the unit and it comes with everything I need to go ahead and make this work, including the positive lead. And they really thought about everything. So even the wire here is already pre-cut. So all I need to do is go ahead and just make the connections. The same thing with the negative cable here. It's pre-cut and it was included. And we get an extra long XC90 connection here that would run between the charger and the unit itself. And to make installation super easy, I could turn the charger on and off with just the click of a button. And it comes with this nice lever nut, which allows me to make a connection without having to use any sort of electrical tape or crimp. Super easy. They really have thought about everything. So now let's take a look at the four kilowatt unit here. And this has 4,006 watt hours of power. And we'll start off with the very front here. This is the main power switch, and it has these nice locking switches. They feel quality, they're backlit. It does have a LED light, which can be turned on and off right here. I'm able to check the state of charge. Currently it's at 91%, and it's reading 284 amp hours. And when it's fully charged, it'll read 315. I'm able to check the balance of all the different cells, and all the cells look to be pretty well balanced. And Additionally, we have some charging ports here. So I have a power delivery port here, a USB 3.0 charging port, two 10 amp power ports. So if I had a portable refrigerator, I would plug it into here. And I actually used the three kilowatt system when I was traveling to Canada. 
and it powered up the refrigerator honestly on one charge all the way down to Ontario which was pretty impressive and then we also have DC inputs and outputs and these are at 14.4 volts these are XC90 connections on most power units when you leave the inverter on which is going to be on the back for every hour I have it on the percentage on the charge will go ahead and decrease by 1% so after 24 hours instead of reading 100% it'll be down to 76% this particular unit has been on for about 18 hours and it's only lost about 9% and that could be because of the power size but this is a little bit more efficient and on the back side here we have that Anderson 120 connection which is this plug right here and this plug is rated at 120 amps so on a previous video I actually used the smaller unit to jump start my vehicle with no battery assistance from the vehicle so definitely a really nice port and I'll talk a little bit more about this port and why I think this is the perfect setup for camper vans and RVs I have not seen another power station on the market that offers this sort of DC output additionally we also have two alternating current plugs here and these are going to be rated at 120 volts and the maximum output is going to be 3600 watts peak 1800 watts nominal and 1500 watts sustainable and now let's talk about solar charging as this unit has made the process very simple as it has a dedicated port now most portable power stations do not have a dedicated solar input port as they share with the car charger and the car charger port on this one is in the front so either one of these can be used and now I can use the solar and the car charger at the same time which is very nice and I can use any solar panel between 20 to 45 volts up to 400 watts max and this is an MPPT charge controller so it is very efficient and as the weather gets cold my son wants to ask a question hey dad as the weather gets colder is this unit uh, going to be able to protect itself yes son this actually has cold weather protection built in so when it gets too cold there's elements inside that will heat up and keep the batteries from being damaged and all of this is handled by the BMS and there's nothing for, for you and I to worry about isn't that cool yeah that's cool do you remember this power station? What? Do you remember this power station? Oh, we had it on the drive? To where? Canada. Yep, and how many times did we charge it? Once. Do you know this is actually the bigger brother of that other power station? This is a four kilowatt power station. The other one was a three kilowatt. Well, I didn't know that. You think we can drive all the way to Europe with this? Yeah, if there's a road to Europe. If he's doing a good job guys make sure you give him a thumbs up so we're gonna go ahead and really max these out I'm gonna go and throw a lot of loads on here but overall a really nice unit and it is completely serviceable so these are just screws on the side here and this is an aluminum case and the handle everything is well built so if down the line I need to ever make any sort of adjustments or replace something this is gonna be easy to access and this does come with a really nice warranty I believe it's five years and it's a good unit they really have done a nice job as far as the build so with no load it's at 118 volts I'm going to turn this heater on the heater is on and currently the unit is outputting about 410 watts to the heater and this is a heat gun here and it's rated at 1500 watts so let's go ahead and turn this on as we monitor the volts in our most units when I do turn on this heat gun just because it takes so much power the voltage will dip down to about 110 so let's turn this on and see what happens currently the unit is putting out 1900 watts and I'm just going to go ahead and let this roll and in the meanwhile I'm going to go show you guys the car charger as this came included and in the past I have paid close to $300 for a car charger and it was not this easy to set up let me show you guys my install so this is the line that runs to the car charger and it runs around and through the firewall you can also run it underneath the vehicle and also on the passenger side 
I decided to go through the firewall as it was a little bit easier and my vehicle's battery is located on the driver's side. This extra line right here is going to be the Anderson connection as I left it permanently installed in my vehicle as I was really impressed with the unit. And on the inside, the line comes in right here, goes underneath this trim along here into my stone go seating area and the profile and size is so small I was actually able to fit it in here and I really didn't lose any space because I had this little corner here that allowed me to get it nice and flush and it was a very easy setup and it took less than one hour to do and what's even more impressive than the ease of install for the car charger is the fact that the Convolt unit fits into my storage compartment here without any sort of modification. They are very compact units. And let's go back to the unit and see how it's doing. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you do not forget to hit the video thumbs up button as I really do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. And if there's a question I didn't answer during this video, please comment down below and I'll be sure to include it in the next video. Everything here is running without any issues. Heat gun is operating as well as the heater. And currently, it's putting out close to 160 amps and we have 82% left. That heat gun is red hot. 71%, 150 amps going out. Voltage is holding at 118. I'm going to turn these off as I think we have done enough testing and this definitely can withstand the load, no issues. And I want to talk about the real benefits of these Convolt unit. And if you guys already guessed it, it is really going to be about size. So this is a four kilowatt system. This is a one kilowatt system. And then we have another Convolt system here, which is a three kilowatt system. So now let's do a quick side by side comparison with a one kilowatt portable power station, the three kilowatt and the four kilowatt. As you notice, this is going to be taller. These other two units are pretty close to each other, with this one being about two inches longer. Three kilowatt, four kilowatt. So everything that is inside this unit is going to be serviceable. And this is based on a 12 volt native system. If you look at the inputs, they all mention 14.4. As this is the normal operating range of your vehicle and also most 12 volt devices. Additionally, because of the native 12 volt system, there's not much loss. So when you're using these for your camper vans or RVs and you stick to a DC load, these units will last longer as far as output because it's not losing any percentage of the charge to efficiency. And for RVs and camper vans, I don't think there's a better solution than the Convolt unit as it's really a no-brainer as the Anderson connection up here will allow you to power up 90% of your DC loads in the RV or the camper van without any issues. Just remember, I'm carrying 7 kilowatts of power. Now let's give this a random fix tool grade so you guys can decide for yourself. Now the unit can be used while you're charging it. So this is gonna be the charger and there's a green light. And once you plug it into the charger, light turns red and it starts charging. And remember, it comes with two of these. We are charging and with just one charger connected, it would be 2.3 hours before it was at 100%. I personally like to charge with only one charger just from over the years of having electrical vehicles and working with power stations, I figure it's better to slow charge whenever possible. And now let's go ahead and do something stupid before we jump into the random fix score. So on the ground I have a 1500 watt heater, 1500 watts, 1400 watts. Now let's go ahead and throw this heat gun in the mix too and let's see what happens. I'm going to try the lowest setting first, 2100 watts, no problems. Let's see what happens when we try to go into the highest setting here. 
I have definitely overloaded the unit. Let's see what happens. Voila. The unit shut off itself. So the unit restarted and reset. No problems. So that is definitely cool. So close to 3000 watts and no permanent damage. Perfect. When the charger gets going, it is a little loud. So I've really enjoyed testing this four kilowatt portable power station from Commvault. And I think this is a good to great portable power station depending on your use. This is great for camper vans and RVs as it's got the Anderson 120 connection, which is basically going to give you enough DC amperage for about 90% of your van life or RV loads. And it comes with this intelligent car charger, which is rated at 30 amps, all the wiring, anything else that you need. If you buy such a unit after market, you can spend two, three, four hundred dollars. Then you have to learn how to configure it and make sure that it's working correctly. On top of that, as far as power to size and weight, the Convolt unit does a great job because most portable power stations are putting out about 35 watt hours per pound. This particular unit is close to 61 watt hours per pound. So it's almost double what other portable power stations are giving you. And I'm gonna go and give this a random fixed tool grade of 84 out of 100. And this is a really high score considering the fact that this doesn't have any native apps and Bluetooth connections. But that's okay because as I mentioned earlier, this is perfect for van life and RVs. You could use it for backup power when needed. Now I do like the four kilowatt system. And if you're looking for that extra little bit of power for your camper van, it is definitely gonna be something I would go and investigate. However, I personally like the three kilowatt system better as it was a little bit lighter, about 14 pounds lighter, a little bit smaller, but more importantly, the price per watt hour was cheaper. The price per watt hour on that one is the cheapest I have found on such a good unit that has a great inverter built in that can handle the loads of 95% of the electronics that we have in our homes as well as the fact if you do overload it, like I showed you guys, it will go through and reset on its own. So y'all, I really enjoyed camping with my dad in the camper van that we had before. And uh, I would like y'all to tell him to build another one because this time when we build it, we can do it faster, cheaper, and y'all gotta follow us along. And at the end of the video, we'll leave you a link to the build of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter that we built. So 10 days ago, I started recording this video and I really do put a lot of time into these videos. So my beard has grown a little bit in that 10 days. However, my opinion does not change about the Convolt units from Energy Freedom as they actually rock. And I do have to disclose that they did send me this unit to try out and review. And as always guys, I keep my reviews honest. So that way you guys know what to expect. The vendors don't get a lot of returns. As I'm not gonna promise you guys, it's gonna take you to the moon and back. Everything is based on a score. And as I've stated many times during the video, for camper vans and RVs, it's really hard to beat. Additionally, I would like to know what you think. So if you guys happen to own one of these stations or you're thinking about getting it, please comment down below as we all learn from each other. And if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll leave you guys a direct link with a coupon at the end of the video and also in the video description box down below, as well as the full video of the three kilowatt hour one, as I show a little bit more in that video and you guys can check out the road trip and also the solar charging capabilities of this particular unit. Check the links down below. If there's anything that I didn't mention in this video that you feel is important, please comment down below. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Make it a great day.